Obviously the club takes a path on the backswing, but what we're talking about here is the moment just before impact, at impact, and just afterwards in the direction it takes. Now, if you're learning the game, you're a very orthodox player, what we as coaches would try to do and encourage you to do is you line the club up at right angles to where you want to go and you have an imaginary line from the ball to target. You've seen top players standing behind the line. What they're doing is getting a line, getting a direction for the swing. Once I've got that direction, I'm then going to try and stand parallel to it with my feet, knees, hips and shoulders so that I'm completely orthodox and my swing then would come just a little bit from the inside, my side, what we call the inside. It will go straight for a short distance as, as we hit the golf ball and then it'll curve back to that. And that, if we deliver the club squarely to the ball on the right path, goes an awfully long way to hitting a perfectly good shot. Here we are, as you can see, just to help my swing path, I've put some cl club head covers down. And what I'm trying to do is to miss these club head covers, but get a nice contact on the ball. I've laid a club down to show that I'm going parallel to the imaginary line that I want the ball to fly down. So I've lined the club up, taken my perfectly normal setup. I'm equidistant from this club, and I'm gonna try and make sure that the club passes between the head covers, strikes the ball, and um, we're going to send one out for the fishes to nibble on. Yep, one out there on the beach. And you can see we've come through, squeezed the ball away, small divot, and out it's gone. Now, there are a number of people who swing in a different way to this, or at least they stand. So are we working off the player alignment that was parallel to this path? We want the path to be into straight to in, but there are a number of very good players in the past who've actually stood a little bit to the left or open. I've now turned my whole alignment round to the left. The swing going back looks as it says, but I would then drop it as I swing through. And as I swing through, I get a little bit longer extension, which may just leave the club face a fraction open, which was how Trevino created the little bit of left to right shape. And down and through I come. So again, exactly the same divot as we send it on through. And that one was out and away. If we go just the other way, which is a less good player, they would get a bit close. You won't see this very often on tour. Let me just turn it round. But there are a lot of golfers who now get a bit closed and of course they then have to pull it back. This is much, much more difficult to be consistent with this because from here I've now got to work the shoulders, much less powerful, not as good. So if you see this one, it's a much more ugly swing as I'm trying to fire through.